Now, and she knows how to mate with king and queen. As a fan so, and a viewer who wants to get better, that is yeah. a very human grandmaster thing to do. And uh, applause is for for Pokey or deserve. Let's for take that. the pawn. Good. Ruby no, just no tried to run with the pawn. Okay, uh, and now I the think only I chance know the how to chance do this. is still made. No, I don't want to draw, sir. <laughs> don't sell me. Just keep um... making checks. Oh, Ruby is offered to draw in the chess.com <laughs> chat. Hilarious. <laughs> Pocky refuses. I think that was a joke from Rubius' side. I can't I even hear what he's saying, saying, but I'm reading his lips and he's staying stall 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 Pables. Stall Pables. He's, he's Pables. Yeah, she sees oh, it. No, no, stalemate. Pokemon. He's trying to get the stalemate. She sees it. The Pokey's problem is she's playing against someone who <laughs> knows a trick. Pocky taught me that the queen should be a knight shadow away. So the shadow of the knight is right now on CA. She will never bring it too close. She knows that when the king is in the corner, a knight shadow is needed of distance. She knows it. Tables, Pokemon. Tables, tables. I don't want to uh, stalemate, you know? What a roller coaster. That was awesome. What a roller coaster. What a roller coaster, what epic match. And this is just the beginning. They will be back for a second game with no, the reverse colors. She course. said it best. Again, if you're just tuning in, we've got about 60,000 of you on Twitch and 20,000 of you on YouTube. And that was awesome. Some that was really, TikTok, really, really good. I like to pretend TikTok doesn't exist so that I can ignore what my 15-year-old is doing most of the time with his life. Actually, see Pokemon. Yeah, they're playing today. I'm covering the first two matches on my society. channel, and then I'll hop on for the actual Fox broadcast. Tips, presented by Grip6 in just a few. Oh, are they taking a break? Hmm, I guess they are. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep staying here. Oh, let me, let me pop up the game on another window. Uh, just give me one second. Let me, uh, let me go back to live chess. So let, let me find this game. Um, who was it? Uh, what, what, what were their usernames? Um, it was Pokemon, right? Yeah. So let me pull this up. Actually, I'll give you guys a little bit of commentary. Um, in the meantime. So while they're, while they're on their break, you guys, I'm gonna I'll, I'll do commentary of the game but played between XQC and Pokimane here. So this game started with pawn to d4, d5, bishop f4, knight six. XQC is not asleep, you guys. XQC is totally watching. Uh, you think X Rubies has lost or getting to him? Yeah, but the thing is, today he was winning this game cleanly. Um, so XQC is not sleeping. He's studying chess. So let's not let's not fool ourselves. He's he's either watching the stream, watching me, or he's on YouTube watching videos. Like please. He's not asleep. Don't don't let, let's not pretend. Let's not pretend. All right. So knight f3, London system by Pokemon. Pretty solid stuff. I like this. Knight e5 is a great move, by the way, here. And now she takes with a knight, which actually leads to a, a position that technically speaking. I mean, there isn't a forced win here. Objectively, you would think there should be something like takes, maybe knight f7 even. But I guess black has a queen before check, and it gets very messy here. So, um, Knight c6, I like. Queen. Now, Rubius here is very lucky because he should be losing the game here. But the problem is you don't have a good fossil with the knight. No matter where you move the knight, I just take your bishop. So it's very harmless. If you go here, I just take the knight. So it's very unfortunate there's not a forced, um, forced win here for white. Probably what I would recommend, though, that white can do is play bishop to a4. Black will go pawn to b5 to block it off. And then you kind of just try to play development. You just play like uh, you move your knight, they take your bishop, and you can play like c3 and attack the pawn on the wing and black can't actually guard it because the two squares from once you can hold the pawn are both defended by the knight on e5 so white would be doing very very well here um in this position if white goes c3 so it's a little bit unlucky for pokemon that this wasn't winning on the spot that being said she played this perfectly like knight e5 fantastic move taking advantage of the pin rubies goes queen e6 probably should have played queen to e6 because now a knight takes you just take or you take the bishop and your queen's not under attack um, so instead he goes queen d6, takes queen e6, bishop e2, he takes c3, all pretty good, knight d2, knight f3, good developing moves by Pokimane, um, knight to e5, takes bishop f4, h5, again, not much to say about the opening, very, very well played, personally, I would have preferred going back to g3 right away, but nothing wrong with this, and now she sees the very, very nasty idea where if you castle, there's pawn to h4, and your bishop gets trapped here, no squares on the diagonal, and your bishop is dead um so h4 is played so bishop g6 
pawn to b4. Now, I like Pokemon's idea here, trying to play for the initiative on the queen side. It's a pretty decent idea. Um, now, the one trick here is because white has pushed h4, it feels a little bit awkward to castle the king because you feel like you've pushed the pawn. And one thing we stress to the, to the players is that generally when you castle your king, you want your pawns like near your king. Like, it feels a little bit iffy with the pawn in h4. So, um, I pro probably she should have castled first and then played for b4. Instead, she goes b4. Um, Rubius takes. Now she plays queen d2. What she should have done here was go king f1. Um, now, queen d2, I think she just forgot the rook was hanging. But the reason king f1 is actually very unclear here is because now white has the idea of rook to c1. And as in the game, you'll see that the combination of the rook and the bishop on the open file are very, very dangerous here for white. Um, so instead, she goes here. Queen e2, Rubius takes. She blocks with the queen. And now Rubius makes a huge mistake here. In this position, when you have an... I'll, I'll get to the game, don't worry. But when you have an extra extra rook on the board, you want to trade queens here. You don't care about little little piddly pawns here. You want to get the heavy pieces off the board. Because the queens the rooks, the queens and the rooks are really, really important. Um, and so in this position, you just you don't care about a piddly pawn. You're, head by, you're up by one rook, which is worth five. Get the heavy reinforcements off the board by trading the queens. Instead, he takes on a2. She castles bishop c2. Queen d2, good move. Queen c1 is also a tricky move to try and line up a checkmate. Um, but queen d2 is fine. Rook e8. Actually, one thing I want to point out here is just in case Pokemon sees this video or um, she does some review. If you play queen c1, a very tricky idea here is let's say black plays knight to e7. You can now go bishop to d3. And the point is you're attacking this bishop with your, with your, um, with your bishop and your queen. They're both attacking. And if black takes the bishop, you can go queen takes pawn and it's a checkmate. So it's just an idea to be aware of where if you try to line up a checkmate idea and there's something in the way, you can maybe offer to gambit more material to force it through and uh, win win the game. So instead she goes queen d2, rook to e8. Now rook to c1 is played here. Bishop b3, rook takes pawn, king to b8. Now Pokemon, beautiful move here, plays rook c2. Winning the game, she creates the classic fossil as Felix Longgel pointed out some, some months ago um, where you check the king and you attack the queen on a2 beautiful move here and if black goes king to d8 you can also play like queen c3 let's say queen takes bishop and now you have the very tricky rook d7 king takes rook and very quietly with just the bishop and the queen you create the checkmate king has no squares nowhere to go in this position very very nice checkmate um so instead he goes king b8 pokemon plays rook c2 just beautiful absolutely perfect king a7 rook takes takes queen takes i did see the e score video you guys don't worry um, e5, she goes b5, another great move. Try to rip away the protection from the king here. Black has two pawns, sort of protecting the king, and now you try to rip it open with your pawn, your bishop, and your queen. Not much really I, that I need to say about the rest of the game. Pokemon plays this pretty well. Um, credit to Rubius, though. At this critical moment right here, he finds this unbelievable idea of trying to create the checkmate with the two rooks. I'll get to the game in a second. Um, so f7, rook b1, she goes bishop f4. Doesn't really matter what you do, just avoid the checkmate. You're way ahead in material, so as long as you can get your king out, you're doing well. So not much really to say about the rest of the game. Uh, Pokemon kind of tunnels a little bit here. Um, but at the end of the day, she finds queen e7, the last really critical move. Get rid of the force. She understands she, there's only a rook on the board. Get rid of the rook. Trade it down to a simplified position um, where where there's, there's no risk of losing. And then she pretty much mops this up in clean fashion. Makes a check. Goes here, goes here, and now she remembers it doesn't matter. These pieces, you don't need them. Just once you have a basic pattern with the king and the queen, you just make the pattern, and she remembers. Push the king to the corner where it only has two squares, and you don't go queen c7 and stalemate. You leave one square. Even this would work too, where you can bring the king in. You, again, make sure there are two squares, whether it's these two or it's these two. As long as there are two squares, whichever way you cut it, you can then escort the, you can bring the king in, and then you make the checkmate with the queen. She goes here, king b8, moves the king over, um, then goes here, and then makes a checkmate. Very, very well played game by Pokemon. After she blundered the rook, she found some really nice moves. Queen d2 and rook c1 was good. Taking the pawn with check, seeing the diagonal, and then rook c2 with the fossil of the king, winning the queen, was absolutely great stuff to see from Pokemon. It was really nice to see the way that she got into the game, and she didn't really give up hope. It would be very easy. She, she lost her first two games. She certainly is an underdog in this event. Um, it would have been very easy to get discouraged and to fall apart, but she kept it together. She found Rook takes pawn on C7, found Rook C2 with the Fossil, and wins a very, very nice game. And she's up 1-0 one, one in the match, and we're going to go back to the videotape. Let's watch the second game. 